Rhinos reach sexual maturity at around 3 years for females and 7 years for males. And once a month, in 28 days, they ovulate once a while. Because they always live until the mothers take care of their children until they are adults, when one rhino is ovulating, another one simply does not, so that the male can choose one of them. Uh, the males mark territories by putting dung around so they can alert other males that they already have that territory. Fighting in males to get uh, some uh, female is regularly and it is always vigorous and it involves injuries once a while to claim territory and to claim a, a suitable mate. A rhino takes about 20 minutes while mating. 20 minutes compared to female uh, humans who take even a minute. <laughs> 18 month pregnant um, is what a rhino takes when it is pregnant. A rhino produces one calf in a period of 20, I mean two and three years. A rhino gets, <coughs> gets to live in this wilderness about 35 years to 40 years of age. They are one of the biggest prodded, uh, the biggest, they are one of the biggest animals, actually the second biggest after elephant. However, their biggest predator is human beings. Human beings all often hunt these rhinos down so they can get their horns. Their horns are made of um, a, a tissue that is the same of fingers and hair. They are not as horns as others. However, they are traded mostly in Asia, Vietnam and China. For, for because the Chinese believe that these horns are true to cancer and they are very good in traditional medicines. In Africa here we have majorly white and black rhinos. Um, they have a very very poor sight. Both the white and and, and uh, black rhinos have a very poor sight. However, they have a very good sense of smell that helps them to in the feeding process. They love uh, take they feed they are completely actually herbivorous because they live they feed on uh, on plant on on leaves leaves mostly in Uganda the these rhinos are not there because they are hunted in about 1970s however in East Africa there is uh, there are about 32 rhinos that still survive in Kenya so because we share uh, the same visa you can get the same visa for east african community you can pass by kenya look at rhinos and come and see what uganda has to offer the mother takes care of its little ones until they are adults to live and go and fight i mean and go and live alone white rhinos are not as solitary as black animals they have tendencies of socialization however the white uh, the black rhinos uh, have they live solitarily. There are only 27,000 rhinos that are left in the world uh, compared to uh, the 500,000 rhinos that were there in the, before the 1970s. However, as I told you, poaching, urbanization, extension into these game parks and uh, has hindered the progress in number of these rhinos. Yeah. Rhinos are, are natively African, African and South America, Southeastern um, Asia. They were mostly found in Southeastern Asia and parts of India, Yemen. However, the poaching has reduced their their existence. As I told you earlier, they are completely herbivorous, meaning they feed only and only on on um, <coughs> on uh, vegetables. These rhinos. Uh, are, are very big animals that they weigh about one ton. They have this very very small brain of about 600 grams of brain. So they they are they compared to their size and 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 their skin, which is as thick as five cubic centimeters. They have a very very small brain. They they generally, as I told you, they generally eat uh, leafy stuff and they don't have front teeth teeth so they use their lips to to pick the food <coughs> their markets the market of their horns is widely in china and Vietnam.
efforts have been taken to make sure that wildlife is preserved both in East Africa, Africa, and the world at general. Through international organizations and international laws, they have been able to control things like poaching, urbanization. They have put designated places in terms of zoos and areas where these animals can survive enough and well. Uganda has made sure that it increases and makes better its in, uh, wildlife protection unit and it has made sure that it increases roads to these game parks so anyone that would really wish to come around and see what Uganda has to offer in terms of wildlife can continue to come to Uganda because it is a host to more than 320 mammals including lions, leopards, uh, whatever you think of silverbacks. Uganda is home to over 400 silverbacks in the world. It has half of the population of silverbacks and over 1,000 birds that live here in Uganda. So it is a very good destination for tourists that would actually require to come and have a blast of touring Uganda. It's a very good destination in East Africa. However, for rhinos, you will have to first pass through Kenya and come to Uganda finally. In Kenya, there are both 32 rhinos that also survive in captivity. And in Tanzania, there is actually a number of them, about 80 rhinos still survive in Tanzania. So if you want to have a look at these rhinos, you can go to Kenya, Tanzania, and then finally you come to Uganda for a blast.